Hi, I'm Stuart from Blackmagic Design. I'm at NAB 2024, and I'm going to be talking to you about the new Pixis 6K. The new Pixis 6K is a 6K resolution camera um, with 13 stops of dynamic range, dual ISO, ISO 400 and ISO 3200. Um, this is CFast Express recording um, on the back. It also has 12 gig SDI. Yes, so obviously this is the first time that Blackmagic has made a camera that is in the shape of a box. Um, this is something that's been asked of us quite considerably over the last few years. Um, but it had to be the right form factor for us. Um, also with that combination of a sensor that we believed would give the true uh, tr great picture that we're looking for when shooting in a digital cinema format. Um, the full frame 6K um, sensor, which is the one that people have been familiar with, with the cinema camera 6K, um, really delivers a stunning image. But with the form factor, this allows you to be able to rig this camera in many different ways. Um, with mounting points all around the camera, this means that you can connect handles, map boxes, um, ND filters. Um, it also allows you to rig an onboard monitor very simply. And access into the media is very straightforward because of the positioning of that on the back, along with a new BPU battery. With connectivity is also made in all of the places that you would need them to connect those monitors and to connect those video outputs. There's a screen on the side which gives you access to all of the menus and also an image of what you're recording and what you're previewing. Um, this is in line with all of our typical cameras with a five inch monitor um, that has not only a great image quality, but also using the Blackmagic Design operating system, you're able to navigate through all of those settings perfectly. Yeah, so at its most basic form, this is the Pixis camera. It's 3.3 pounds in weight, so it's a very light and easily usable camera. Um, as you start to look around the camera, you will see a series of mounting points on the top. Um, you will also see the same mounting points on the bottom. But then as we turn the camera on its side, what you can actually see is four screws here that allow you to replace this with a number of different accessory points. So we can put a rosette grip on the side of there. The camera actually ships with, um, with, a, with a plate that enables you to connect a small SSD drive onto the sides or, or a mobile phone on the side. Um, but we also believe alongside the Blackmagic provided mounting points, there'll probably be a lot of third party manufacturers that will also want to connect. As you turn to the front of the camera, what you can see is the lens mount. Typically, um, this would be as a standard an EF mount, but for those people that are also looking for L mount and also PL, there is a version for those, those users as well. As we turn to the side of the camera, we've generated enough space and real estate for us to put a very functional menu um, along with the, ba the backlit buttons that people want to access so that it makes navigation through those settings very simple. There's also a locking button on the side, which means that you can stop that being accessed um, by clicking the locking button across. And as we turn to the back of the unit, you can see that we've got our outputs which includes a one gig ethernet connection, a reference, and also a 12 gig. Also on there as well as a USB-C connection. Then we have two CFast Express, CF Express cards slots here on the back. The battery is a new battery. It's a new BPU battery, which means runtime on this camera runs for around about three hours. So this is something that enables you to rig in the morning. Um, it means you can shoot for a good portion of that day but also because of the mounting point of where the battery sits and it doesn't interfere with any of those riggable points, it means that you don't have to de-rig your camera to get access to that battery. There are three different options when it comes to lens mounts. We have an EF, we have an, an L mount, and we also have a PL. Now, when you look across those three different lens categories, there are different purposes generally used for those different lenses. So we have a lot of people who've migrated across from photographic um, world with EF that are starting to use those very good quality lower cost EF lenses um, in a digital cinema environment. So we believe that that is somewhere where we've come from and it's still something that people really desire and people need. If you go to the other end of the spectrum and you look at PL, we're now starting to look at more prime lenses that are a bit more expensive in cost but really deliver that digital film quality that people really aspire for. In the middle you then got L mount L mount is something that is, is easily riggable, it's sorry, easily adaptable, um, and it's something that's become more popular certainly within the last 12 months. So we've given three different options there, which means that you can look at your lenses, you can look at what you exist, you own existed, 
or something that you want to um, you know, basically go and purchase a series of lens for in the future and make a decision on that box, lens, box camera, um, sorry, on this new 6K um, camera that we have, the Pixis, to make a choice around what are the right lenses for us to use. The Pixis 6K also has two CF Express card slots on the back, which means that you can do high-speed data capture, which means that recording that um, 6K footage is actually quite straightforward. Also, the camera has a 12 gig SDI output, which means that you can take a Ultra HD feed directly from that camera. In addition to that, there is also a one gig ethernet connection, which means that you can actually access the media through that one gig ethernet connection. The camera also has built into there as well um, a relationship between it and Blackmagic Cloud, which means that we can also deliver proxies directly up to Blackmagic Cloud. So if you're working within a post-production environment, you can actually access those proxies from set, from location. So what we're actually doing is not just giving the user flexibility in terms of acquiring the footage, but we're giving a secondary accessibility to additional users by being able to access that footage either over cloud, via SDI, or also through that one gig ethernet connection. So the Pixis 6K has obviously an onboard monitor, which is on the side of the camera, which means that you can still access all of the menus and see what it is that you're looking to shoot. And obviously, Focus and Zebras and all of the things that people are familiar with with Blackmagic cameras exists within that software. But in addition to that, there is also the option to rig the new Blackmagic OLED viewfinder. This is the same viewfinder that is actually being offered with the Ursa 12K, Ursa Cine 12K. It's an advancement upon what we've done before, great high quality image, um, and obviously by taking information over USB-C, we're also bringing lens data, we're also being, bringing menus through there too. On the back of the camera, there is a 12 gig SDI connection, which means that if you wanted to actually add additional monitoring on there, you can take an off-board monitor and you can actually connect that on the top mounting points. So what we're trying to do is give all options for monitoring, whether it be using the side monitor, whether it be using the viewfinder, or also adding an onboard monitor such as a video assist. The Pixis 6K is gonna be shipping in June. When we're only, only a few months away from that now, um, development of this is at a really good stage, so we hope to see that in the hands of, of people before the summer months. Um, the price of the 6K EF and L mount version is $2,995, so we're under that $3,000 mark. Um, the PL is a little bit more expensive, just over $3,000. Um, that's because there's some additional engineering required to, for, for PL. Um, but we are hoping that this is in a price range that makes this available to most people um, and also sits nicely alongside our existing cinema camera 6K full frame camera.